do you have naughty apps, banking apps, social media apps that you want to hide on your iPhone, then you've clicked on the right video. The app you will need to do this is called Cloak and you can download it from the App Store. You can use it for free, but the paid version gives you more features. It only costs 1,600 Naira, which is around $2 for a one-time purchase. Opening the app for the first time, you're going to see the headline features. The Cloak app allows you to hide multiple apps and once hidden, the app or apps won't appear on your home screen, the app library, or even in the settings. Also, you won't get notifications from the hidden apps. The second highlight feature of this application is called Save Zones and what it does is it automatically hides apps as soon as you leave a pre-assigned location, say for example, your home. For the setup process, you're going to need to grant the application access to your screen time. After you're done with that, it's going to take you to the main menu. Now on the main menu, you have a group. You can create up to four groups and that's important if you want to have different categories of apps. For example, I can rename group 1 to social media and select my social media apps that I want to hide. Group 2 can be for your banking apps and group 3, well, group 3 can be for apps that you don't want anybody to see. <laughs> now how do you pick the apps you want to hide? Now to do this, tap anywhere here, you're going to see your applications arranged into categories. So let's say I want to hide WhatsApp and Telegram, I'll need to go to social, select them and tap on done at the right corner of the screen. After selecting the apps you want to hide, tap here to hide them. As you can see, it's saying hiding and now if you go to the home screen, you won't be able to find WhatsApp, Telegram, anywhere. They won't appear on the app library. When you search, the app won't appear and even when you go to the settings and scroll down to the app settings, you won't see WhatsApp and Telegram there. Now to unhide apps, open the Cloak app, tap here and when you go to your home screen, the app or apps that were hidden will be visible. Now bear in mind, on the free version, you can only hide three applications but on the paid version, it's on limited. Now moving on to the second reason why I love this application and that's safe zones. What it does is it automatically hides apps as soon as you leave a pre-assigned location, say for example your house or your office. Let's test it out and see if it actually works. So right now I am outside the safe zone. Telegram and WhatsApp is still there. Let's uh, keep walking and see if those apps will disappear. There you go. <laughs> Telegram and WhatsApp have vanished. So yes, safe zone works. It, <laughs> it works. This is such a nice application. The safe zones feature works. It took less than three minutes for it to automatically hide my apps after leaving the zone diameter. It doesn't restore the app when you move into the diameter, but you can always unhide the apps from the clock app. Now to set up safe zones, tap on it at the bottom. You will need to grant it location access. Tap on allow while using the application and press the plus icon at the top right corner of the screen. If your location is not correct like this one, tap on this icon and that should fix it up. Tap on the screen to set your diameter and pick the zone diameter that you want. Now for me, 800 meters is a little bit too wide, so I'm just going to settle for 200 meters. Tap on done at the top right corner of the screen and that's it. Now let's go into the settings of this application and the first thing you're going to notice is you can set a password before you can open the clock app. You can also make it require you to enter the passcode before you can make the hidden apps visible. It has an incognito passcode that turns the clock app into a not taken app when you enter the incognito passcode. Cloak said this can be useful when you're forced to open the application against your will, but I say it's a clever way to make people think that this application is a not taken app when you change the app icon. Now, if you want to learn how to change the app icon, I'm going to make a video on that on Instagram and TikTok, so follow me on those platforms if you don't want to miss out. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's how to hide apps on your iPhone. I think the Cloak app is great, it's simple to use, and the paid version doesn't cost an arm or a leg. Alright, we've come to the end, hit the like button if you found this video to be useful subscribe for more videos like this thank you for watching and i will see you guys very soon valor reviews signing out